Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are looking at the new Barbie lipsticks from Sephora. So Sephora Collection have done a collaboration with Barbie and have released eight lip stories. Five are already existing colors which have been repackaged in the Barbie packaging. So they have also been renamed different colors but the numbers are the same. So the five that are the existing colors are number 32, number 31, number 36, number 26, and number 20. So keep that in mind. I don't have any of these colors in lip stories already, so I didn't mind purchasing them. The formulas are really creamy. Um, you've got mattes, you've got metals, and you've also got cream finishes. So, Let's get swatching. So I've zoomed to you guys in a little bit just so you can see the lip colors a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna start off with doing the lighter colors first. So let's start off with number 36. So this is what the Barbie packaging looks like on this one. It's so cute. And these are only $13 each, so a really, really friendly price point. This is what the color looks like swatched on my hand and this is a cream finish all of these have the formula embossed inside there so you can see it says hashtag cream these feel so nice going on and you can see that's what it looks like there so keep in mind I am quite fair, so if you do have a more like like medium to tan skin tone or even deeper skin tone, they will look very different, um, but the formula is really comfortable. I have shade number three, which is called We, in this, and it's got like pretty like wedding dresses on the packaging, and that one is amazing. It's a cream formula, I wear it all the time to work, and it is really long wearing, so despite being a cream, it still fades off nicely and leaves color on your lips. The next color I'm going to apply is one of the new shades and this is shade number 53. It's called Barbie Beats and this is what this package looks like. Super cute. This is one of their metal formulas. So you can see it right there. That's what the shade looks like. And you can see that there. So it's quite a like a peachy sort of pinky color with a gold shift in it. I find that this metal one doesn't glide on as easy as the cream formula, which is obviously to be expected. It's not as creamy, but it feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like chalky or dry on the lips. I actually really like the color of this one. It's very pretty. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna go in with is shade number 20. And this one here is again a repackage of an existing shade. But it's a really beautiful creamy pink color, as you can see there. Okay, so this is definitely your typical sort of Barbie pink. I love this color. It's very comfortable, nice and creamy. And I can't remember what shade this is a repackage of, but in the Barbie version, it's called Hit the Street. And it's just a beautiful warm pink shade. So this is one of the new Barbie colors that came out with this collection. So this one here is number 55, called Barbie Swag. It is a cream finish, and you can see that that's what it looks like there. Beautiful, hot, hot pink. Okay, I am actually obsessed with this color. This is so pretty. It's a beautiful hot pink. 
and it is a cream finish but it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide off your lips or move around too much I freaking love this this is so cool who else loved Barbie growing up because me and my sister we were obsessed with Barbie but yeah this color is definitely what I would think of when I think of Barbie like beautiful hot pink okay so that pink shade has stained my lips a little bit so just keep that in mind beautiful color though so next color we're going to go in with is number 26 this is again an existing shade but the packaging is so cute and this is a matte finish it looks so perfect obsessed So this is what the color looks like on. It's a beautiful red shade. It's kind of like a, I'm gonna say like a lolly red. I don't even know if that's a thing, but it's kind of, it's like not super pinky, but not super warm. It's kind of like in between. That's what it looks like swatched there. And it is very comfortable on the lips. I would say if you have concerns with the deeper shades applying them, use a lip liner first or a lip brush with these. The bullet is quite easy to be able to, um, get like a precise shape but again with the darker colors it can be a bit trickier in terms of getting that really crisp line but that is what shade 26 looks like this is why you do the lighter colors first my lips are a bit stained now so next color we're going to move on to is number 54 this is one of the new shades and probably the one I was most excited when I saw the packaging is so cool. I wish I had hair like this. And this is a metal finish. And this is what it looks like here. You can see it's so pretty. Okay, this shade is so cool. It's a metallic bright purple with purple glitter in it and it looks mega cool. And you can feel a tiny little bit of the glitter on your lips when applying it. And if I press my lips together, I can feel it, but it's not an uncomfortable feeling. So I would definitely wear this again. I think this is a really fun color. So the next color we're going to go into is another existing shade. This is the second last one we're going to try on. This is shade number 31. It's a matte finish. And that is what it looks like just there. So you can see the mattes aren't a super dry matte, which is really nice. I hate things that feel like they're dragging when they're going on. So this is what the color looks like on. It's a very vampy color. Very comfortable on the lips. I really like the way this looks, especially with this eye makeup actually. Looks really nice. Perfect for this time of year. It's very cold in Australia, especially today. It's freezing. So very nice winter color. This color actually makes me want a glass of red wine. Okay, very last lipstick. The last lipstick is number 32. This is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. I love that these are all very empowering packaging. And this is a cream finish.
and that is the last shade on. This is what it looks like swatched here. And you can see all of the lipsticks next to each other. Again, another vampy shade, but this one here is just a little bit more on the purple side. Very cute though. It feels very comfortable on lips with this one. I probably would wear a lip liner with it just because it is creamy and it is a darker color. Just so you can get that really beautiful crisp line. But again, they do apply really easily. So if you just pop a lip liner on um, and then put this over the top, you shouldn't have any issues. But yeah. For me, I guess my favorites from the collection, I really like a lot of these colors, but these ones here, which you cannot even see, number 54, which was that beautiful metallic purple shade, number 55, which was that hot Barbie pink. Number 26, which was that really nice red. Number 31, which is that sort of vampy burgundy deep color. And number 20. These ones here were probably, I like them all, but I would say the colors there were probably my favorite shades. I am so happy with the formula. I love the packaging of them. I do wish that they created some more shades that were unique to the collection because I think if you are a collector, you do want something sort of limited edition. The colors are beautiful that they chose. I am glad that they put at least three new shades in with the limited edition Barbie collection. But all in all, I think they're really good value. $13 for a lipstick is super affordable. These are all made in Italy as well, so really good quality. And I love that the packaging is all recyclable. I think that the beauty industry definitely is one that kind of contributes to a lot of unneeded waste. So I'm really, really happy to see that these are all in the cardboard packaging. So that is the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this lip swatch video. If you are planning to pick up any of the lipsticks, comment down below and let me know which were your favorite colors. And let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. Is there anything else I should try out? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. My Instagram and everything will be linked down below. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.